Well, hello, my fellow famous. It's that back here. I'm going to do another video of RuneScape 3 news. For this video news is about um, the two kingdoms, Mayor Falls and Pippinus. And this one is relative to Pippinus, the Elf City area. Uh, so let's talk about it. What is Pippinus? Well, within Pippinus, there are 10 high level skills, skills in a kingdom, actually, with a good agility course and a DD called Blood Rush, actually. Maybe. Um, it's a pretty hard, it's a pretty hard DD, actually. Blood Rush, Rush, because first of all, you need, to, you need to do a whole bunch of classes. Classes first. Then you need, um, your, then you need your Slay Low to low 85, I believe so. Uh, and then it's 90 to 92, I actually get unlocked the medium one too. But yeah, you need to do a lot of classes before you enter Blood Rush. And that's a, and that is actually like a boss battle. You fight different kind of bosses. Is and you work on the um, combat at in, in Blood Rush. You do fight different kind of monsters too, but um but as you you progress through, you, you fight um, bosses that bosses that are actually in the quest line of each storyline, like vampires, desert, um, pirates, and many more actually. Okay, so yeah, is uh, complicated it to explain, but because I never done before, I never focus on um, uh, quests a, a lot. But there are actually uh, other, things, other things you can do in, in Pephanus. And that is, uh, there are different kinds of factions since related to skills. As you know, there are 10 skill, 10 high, yeah, 10 high level skills in Pephanus, which are graphing, agility, in construction, mining, smithing, and Herbal, oh, and many more. There's also like farming and and, and prayer too. Who each area has a faction in the, in this kingdom like Heffen, Mentant. Sorry, but you got bunch of these names actually. Clendis, Gontens, Trent, Trentine, Irith, Eighth, Irol. And I'm um, doing thing. thing, but those are actually all the factions. Ten, ten of them actually. Each each faction has a relative way of buffs. Like yet, yeah, like these two, they mark, they change every hour actually. So if at so at twenty twenty two. So yeah, so I, so at twenty so I. 22. Dot, um, dot zero zero. Oh, this, these two changed. Like right now, uh, there is Karen and which is thieving in range and magic. What the other one is Mountain and thieving, farming, and herbal. Oh, and that which is kind of cool. We and then a so thing. And to enter this area, uh, you need to complete a quest called Plague's End. And Plague's End is a very hard quest to do. To do, I let me just let me show you. You where is it? Is it maybe it's under elves? Uh <laughs> I hate doing quests so much. Oh, here it is. Yeah, it's on the elves' perfectness for the, for the storyline. Yeah. You need to do a whole bunch of stuff. Like I said, it's actually the last thing. So first thing you need to play city, biohazard, underground pass, wing sensor, rolling elves, Morgan's part one and two, like within, and then finally, like Zen. Yeah. 
Flexen acquires 10 skills to level 75, actually. A. Which are agility, crafting, construction, engineering, and herbal, mining, player, range, summoning, and book cutting. Okay. 10 skills to level 75. Those are, those are the 10. And then it also says to do uh, catapult construction, which is not in the list of elves, but but it's actually a quest you have you have to do to saw um, it. Actually, yeah. And play is a grand and the uh, quest is actually a grandmaster quest. Yes, don't worry about the combat that much. It it all happens in the end because all you do in the end. Uh, before the beginning comes by, uh, is fight a boss, boss called the Dark Lord. Fight him, fight him a couple of times with, a, with some puzzles, and then you're actually done with the quest. Yes, and that, and that gives you the ability to unlock uh, Preferness. Once you unlock it, head to the middle of the area, area and unlock your low zone right here. here and then you're able to, to go to certain, certain factions based on the symbol. Oh, oh, so pick an area you want to go to, just to scale Blah. and something, and then you can check it out. Oh, it was, which is pretty cool indeed, and I do like it a lot. Alright, so yeah. And then you can do, and then you can do like a 7DD, so then once you, once you hit, hit uh, these skills to lower, to send it at levels, so then, it's called a golden statue. Ooh, I think you need level 75 farming, 80 crafting, and something. And eight is it 75 something? I think it's herbal, actually. I believe so. I believe it's herbal. 75 herbal. Okay. Because hey, herbal is actually kind of a good area for this place. It, is there's a potion? Yeah, there's a new potion and preference called com um combination potions, and that means you can, that means you combine two potions into one. So say you you can you combine um a strength potion and a super potion. You com you combine them together, you get a grand strength potion. If you're doing a prayer one, you get a grand you get uh a restitution. Um, potion, which actually boosts up your prayer, prayer and then you, and then you re, and then you regrowth your prayer in time, and so then, which is kind of cool. And so I gotta say, a this, this area is actually for crafting, and this is where you can get your harmonic dust and upgrade your and upgrade your, your um your tools to crystal I. Crystal tools actually like, like if you want to upgrade your pickaxe, axe you gotta go, you gotta get uh, Hermog dust, 4,000 of them actually. Yeah, and it's a pretty long process, like it's really AFK actually. You'll want to um, be here for a lo very long time, collect 4,000 4, Hermog dust, say, which is right here, here, and then upgrade your pickaxe or your hatchet. Based on your based on your um skill level. Oh, so yeah. And and which is kinda of cool and that sort of thing, thing I guess say. You can you can do uh you can craft tools, weapons, and and well, I wouldn't say armor yet, yet, because that requires a quest you gotta do, which is called light within, actually. Um no, like no, but not like within. Nah, it's called. Oh yeah, it's called it like within. Okay, it is called like within. The final quest in L City, actually, and you need a whole bunch of quests. Did you do first? Did you do it first? Like, like make it like meeting history, temple, or sanctuary, a hey, place and. The world of eggs and fate of the gods, and then you need eight skills, level eighty. 
the agility, flat thing, divination, hobo, player, slayer, and word cutting thing. And um, hobo's actually a still hard skill to work on, and that sort of thing. In, in perfectness, like, because I know there are actually new portions in, in there, but but it's still hard to work to work with it. Gotta say, you do spend you do you do spend a lot of money in perfectness than in mail falls actually. Hey, like, if you want to buy a cape or a symbol, I'll show you. So you actually each faction. Has a very own cape and symbol. Oh, and they cost a million each. The cape costs a million. See, one million go up for the cape. And then, and then the symbol. Same thing, one million go for the thing. And you don't. It's optional actually because it's a completion uh, task. Actually, you don't need to do it. It's your choice if you want to go. For, if you want to go for a, a completion cape, okay? Because um, ten factions mean equals ten ten million, and if and if you want to get the capes, and if and also if you want to get the symbols too, that's twenty million too. So that's a lot of money to spend on something you get something you got complete for a completion task. All right. Yeah, and if we and this is like this this area is a lot of good areas to to farm. Like there's a whole bunch of banks around all around the areas. Um, areas there's so then you can, you can actually uh, do a whole bunch of grind to at for summoning. And there's a Argus. And right, and then, and then a couple of feet ahead, there's a bank right nearby. All right, so you can, you can actually farm for summon XP, and get uh get some good and get some some good uh summon XP like summon summon levels actually, which which uh upgrades your combat. All right. And then finally, it is a it's a guild. This is a, this is a, this is a new guild called the uh, Max Guild. Guild is right here. Here and the Max Guild is means every skill, every twenty eight skills to level ninety nine. Actually, yeah, all twenty eight skills to level ninety nine. So far, so far, I, I only have five skills. To level ninety nine. Yeah, so that's like what a quarter way done, maybe an eighth. And right now I'm working on level ninety nine crafting actually, a old level ninety nine slayer. One of those two actually. They both of them are really good skill, really good um skills, but uh, but everybody's saying like sl slayer is a very helpful skill. Skill to to use, yeah, for your, uh, for your account. So yeah, but that's um actually how it works. I got did I got the right way for your for the max scale. Yes, I did. Okay, because I want to because I want to show you it. It. Like you, can, like you can only go up to this path if you don't have all your skills level ninety nine. Yeah. that's it. You can you can unravel the 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 banners to what skills you to what skills you have to level ninety nine. See five skills level ninety nine have. Mining, smithing, and cooking, fishing, and fire making. Wow, I'm very good with memory, thing, memory skills by heart. Heart, and then... Oh, and then there are actually two other things for the quest, the quest cape. Yeah, oh. Okay, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. Look, and uh, this must be adventure, right? Yes, adventure. Yeah, there's 
the first Elite skill. So yeah, and then there are two areas you can go up to, like high level wound spans, uh, identifying skilling portal, oh, and I thought there was the one, but nope, there isn't. Okay. And 15 skills, you need, so I can't do this yet. But I can actually um, fix this. This which requires ninety thousand. See, see, you spend a lot of money and and puffing this actually. Hey, and once you, and then once you enter uh, it, like with, with twenty e skills level ninety nine, you get into the back max skill skill with a throne right at the top. You can sit on it and empower your empower your own pride to be a max player. Uh, and no, the max cape is still in Veilbok, actually, actually named, named Max. So don't even worry about coming here to get, get, to get your max cape. It's still in the same area. But I think that's actually pretty much it. I gotta say. Okay, so um, yeah. Do check it out for yourself. Have a great time. Time with with it, and and when that way you can get the chance to do it, it with the D and D worship blood uh, do 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 it. It's actually pretty good. It's uh, really decent. I think it's once per once per week or once per month. I really don't know. No, it's not daily. Wait, actually, it's a weekly, weekly or or monthly. I really don't know. I really don't know. But yeah. Um, but that's it. Um, bit for this, Elf, aka Elf City. Hey, so anyway, I'm actually going to lead the video here. So thank you so much for watching. Hey, so don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And join the ribbon. Do you follow me on all my social media accounts? And I'll see you next time. Bye.